Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss a problem on binary tree and the problem is binary tree right side view. So as usual, in this tutorial, first we will understand the problem statement, then I will discuss how we can solve this problem with their time and space complexity and finally we will write its Java code. So let's start with the problem statement first. In this problem, we have given a binary tree and you have to imagine yourself standing on the right side of it. Now we have to write a code which return all the node values visible from the right side from top to down fashion. So when we see this binary tree from the right side, what all nodes are visible. So one is visible from the right side, three is visible and four is visible. So we have returned all these node values in the form of list. So two is not visible when you see this binary tree from the right side because here three comes first. Similarly, five is not visible when we see this from the right side because four comes first. So we have returned these nodes one, three and four. So this is the problem statement. Now let's discuss how we can approach this problem and what is the time and space complexity of that approach. To solve this problem here I am using level order traversal. The idea here is to traverse a binary tree level by level from top to down fashion and put the last value of each level, put the last value of each level in the result list and finally after the complete traversal of a binary tree return that result list. So let's visualize this approach. So I have already explained level order traversal in my previous video tutorials and the link of that video tutorial I'll put them in the description box. So let's visualize this approach. So in level order traversal first we visit all the nodes of that level before moving to the next level. So first we visit all the nodes in this level then after visiting all the nodes of that level we move to the next level and then we visit all the nodes of that level. So here we use the level order traversal and for each level we put the last node in the result list because when we see this binary tree from the right side we we are only able to see the last node of each level so for level order traversal i need one additional data structure that is q so let me draw a q and uh, so when we start from uh, from this level so initially i'll put that node in a queue so i'll uh, put this node in a queue then we run a loop and the loop will run until the queue is not empty and for each level so let's say now we have one node in a queue so when we take its length so its length is one now we run a loop from zero to length and when we pull this value we get one now we check if the value if this index value the value of i is equal to the length minus one because it is the last value of that node yes we have declared a result list where i put this value so i put one in it and then we we have this node we take its left child and we take its right child so one is already pulled from a queue we first enqueue its left child then we enqueue its right child if it is not empty now in next iteration so after so initially when only one node is uh, one node is present in a queue so when we run a loop from zero to less than one after single iteration we came out of this loop and in next iteration when we take the length we in this queue we have two values so the length is two so here we run a loop from zero 
till the value of i is less than equal to 2 so first when we poll we poll 2 so we get 2 here and we check if the value of i is equal to equal to length minus 1 so the length is 2 so 0 is equal to equal to 1 no so it is not so we don't add this value in our result list we take its left and right children so its left children is null so this condition is skipped its right children is there 5 so we enqueue them in this queue now this for loop is not terminated yet so in next iteration we pull this value 3 and the value of i is 1 now so when we compare this condition it is true so we add 3 in our result list and then we check its left and right children so its left children is null but its right children is not null so we enqueue 4 in this queue and after that we came out of this for loop so in next iteration again the length is 2 so first we poll 5 and we check its left and right children which is null so we don't have to enqueue anything in the queue and also this condition is not true because the value of i is 0 and here we are comparing i equal to equal to length minus 1 so we comparing uh, i uh, and length minus 1 so the value of i is 0 and the length is 2 2 minus 1 1 so it is not equal so in next iteration we poll 4 so when we poll 4 this time the value of i is 1 so let me add 4 here and is there any left and right children of this node 4 no so nothing to be enqueued in a queue so after that when we came out of this loop in next iteration if you see this condition this while loop will run until the queue is not empty but here the queue is empty so we came out of this loop and we return the result and the result is this list so this result list contain these three values one three and four so now we return this value and uh, here is the answer so this is how we can solve this problem using level order traversal now let's talk about its time and space complexity its time complexity is big o of n as we are visiting each node of a binary tree and its space complexity is also big o of n so we are using additional data structure to enqueue and dequeue the node value so this is the one way to solve this problem so also you can try another way to solve this problem and if you know any other way to solve this problem please let us know through your comments so that other people who are watching this tutorial get benefit from your code so that's it for this video tutorial please like uh, this video and also if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel so that whenever i upload a new video you get the notification and that's it for this video tutorial thanks for watching this video tutorial thank you